settling. There's the all clear. They are sprinting away from the 1,000 meter marker between the sheets will slowly go when the start is set go. Royal and Regal in the blue blinkers made a good beginning and Princess Ariel's very quick in the early stages. Golden Assembly is also right there on the stand side. They're in front of Enchanting Lass. Estonia's only two lengths off the lead. Sorbonne is in behind those runners. Then comes Blue Bay Girl about five or six lengths off the lead as they settle down to race. On the inside, Royal and Regal with the blue blinkers and Princess Ariel, they show the way. On the outside of that Golden Assembly, Estonia, the White Nose Band, Family Fortunes behind that one. Between the sheets, is trying to get into race, almost came down to it between the sheets. Coming to the 300, Estonia and Golden Assembly now. Princess Ariel on the inside, Sorbonne is running on. Coming to the last 100, Golden Assembly, but Estonia now takes it up. And Estonia is going on from Golden Assembly. Estonia will win at a half length. Golden Assembly will be second. Third, maybe Blue Bay Girl Princess Ariel's involved in that photo. So number nine, Estonia. You'll see wants to drift out. And as victorious, the Philly buys stronghold here for Duncan Isles. They win three parts of a length. Golden Assembly number four will run into that second position. Third placing. Princess Ariel's involved with Sorbon and Blue Bay Girl is towards the inside. We'll have to leave that one to the judges. Further back in the field, between the sheets. Now, this horse was slow into stride, went for a run down the inside, and almost came down. So, take note of that for the next run. Family Fortune once again disappoints, and then Shikra, and further back, Enchanting Lass. Maybe we'll be able to see that. Between the sheets is towards the left hand side with the white nose band. No, yep, yeah, the picks and almost comes down. And Family Fortune is towards the inside. But meanwhile, Estonia and Golden Assembly are doing battle. And Estonia will start drifting out. The stick is in the left hand. But Estonia continues to go and ends up winning it by about this half length, three quarters of a length. So Estonia wins it. Golden Assembly will run second. A race time, 58.09. Estonia, tote favorite at two rand. Third race starts off the place. Accumulator, back to the studio. The tote favourite, Julia Blages, here at Scottsville, race number two. That is Estonia, ridden to victory by Craig Zaki. That was saddled up by Duncan Hulls. Uh, Duncan did really well. There was the favourite, had the form uh, to win the race, and was a pick of the parade ring. Yeah, look, she come on from her last start. It was against Colts. Obviously, with that horse winning the first race at Doug Campbell's, you know, I would have been disappointed if she'd got beat. She looked really, really well. Yeah, look, I think she's progressive. I don't think 1,000 metres is her ideal, ideal distance. I think she'll go 1,200, and he had to start asking her a long way out to start picking it up. You know, she was a bit outpaced in the race, but uh, no, she won well. Good luck to Pete. He's always been a loyal supporter of the yard, and thanks very much to Robin and Alan Beshaw. They bred her, and they leased her to us, and uh, yeah, I think she, there's a couple more wins with this filly. It's always quite positive when you expect uh, the filly to go a bit further, that she lacks the speed over 1,000, but manages to win over the shorter distance. Always gives you a bit of confidence and a bit of hope. Oh, look, I think a uh, horse like this shows that she's got some sort of ability and uh, we'll just see how she goes in the next couple of runs. And then Duncan, you've got a few more today. Sun is up, Philanthropic. Uh, well, what's your best? Look, I, th I thought Philanthropic's improved. Sun is up, to me, he's been a bit disappointing, but he's never far off. I put the blinkers on. Kev Kevin recommended we put them on. Um, all right through, we got place chances more than anything else. But, you know, if we win a race, I won't be... Uh, wouldn't be disappointed. Thanks, thanks for the feedback. Break a leg. Great, thanks. And thanks to our sponsors winning form. Thank you. Right, let's get Craig. Craig, take us through the race. I mean, I was just chatting to Duncan now. He said it, it lacked a little bit of speed. I saw you sitting about three, four lengths off them. And you had to get, in, get involved with the early. Yeah, I did. Uh, yeah, I was about three, four lengths off. Just letting her unwind as she finds herself. And yeah, at the 400, I asked her. Uh, didn't try hit to her. I wrote her hands and heels. And yeah, she went nicely. I think she's only going to go on from here. And Duncan uh, alluded to that she'll probably get further, and I reckon there's a couple in the bag here. Yeah, she'll, she will get further, and yeah, I think she's a nice little filly. I think she'll get a few more points. All right, and then there are your rest of your card. Also, touch, Duncan touched on a few of your runners. Most of your rides are for Duncan. Yeah, all my rides today are for Duncan. Um, my best ride was this one right here, I thought, coming to the races, and yeah, she did win. Uh, I give Sunny's up a little bit of a place chance, so to Darwin Cup, and... I think that's the next two. All right, we'll hope to see you back later. Thank you, and it just 
Big thanks to Mr. House. He's always supporting me. Gave me six awards today, so big thank you to him, to Mr. Hoskins, and everyone here with him today. Thank you. Perfect, thanks. Let's get the owner in here. Pete, come through, Mr. Hoskins. Pete. Uh, great winner. I mean, uh, Duncan was just saying one over a thousand, expected to get a little bit further, but always positive uh, when they can win over shorter. Yeah, you're right. Uh, Wes, we're very chuffed with this. And I just want to say thanks to Dunks and his team. You know, he's always uh, thought highly of this horse, and thanks for getting me into the horse. And in my opinion, it was the best turned out horse. It looked really, really well in the parade ring. So that, that reflects on uh, its, uh, its effort today. Yeah, you're right. It did look very good. So, yeah, favorite, did you manage to have a bet? Had a small strike. All right, great. Well, go enjoy your afternoon. There we've seen it from Pizza. We've heard it from Duncan and the jockey, Craig Zaki. Congratulations to everyone involved, the, the breeder. That was a daughter of Stronghold. We'll be back for race number three.